IPO diagram example, checkout system. The following IPO diagram outlines the inputs, processes and outputs involved when using a checkout system to buy products at a store. So here's my IPO diagram and in it we'll be putting in the corresponding inputs, processes and outputs to reflect how the system is intending to work. So this is a planning tool and I'm going to try to plan it in a way where I'm trying to highlight things that might be beneficial to when it comes to coding and creating this actual piece of software. So I'm going to go sequentially, though sometimes it is better to start off with the outputs in IPO diagrams because you know what you're trying to achieve. But I'm going to try to do it in a logical sequential manner, which shows kind of how the program would work if I was running it in sequence. So in starting that, we're going to be looking at the inputs and the first input is getting that barcode. And I want to get obtain the barcode and put that into the system. In doing so, the attached process is it will match the product barcode and obtain product details related to the product that it's attached to. And this is obviously stored on the system database. From that and gaining those details, we want to retrieve the product price and through retrieving it, have it displayed on screen. So we've scanned the item, I can see how much that item costs on screen and hopefully I already know how much it is uh, when I'm intending to buy it, but this will confirm that I've got the right product and that it is the price that I saw as well. So we need that as output for me to see as the user of the system. Now we've got that product price, the next step is add that product price to the total cost. Now, upon first time doing this, it will be the only price, so there'll be just be the same price as the original product price. But as I scan in more items, that total cost will increase. So these steps need to happen continually okay, as we go through it, because it's going to be repeated, the actual obtaining of that total cost. Okay, so we're going to repeat all of the above processes until all items are scanned and total cost will keep increasing. Now, I've highlighted those words in green because repeat and until, if you know your pseudocode, that reflects iteration and it's actually a post-test repetition, okay, where we're going through those same steps. And now, do I always have to show this in an IPO chart? No, I don't. But remember, this is my planning tool. And I'm trying to make it meaningful to me. So by having that and highlighting it here, it'll help me later on when it comes to coding this, okay? I'm showing my control structure there of repetition Okay, within the program that those three points above will be repeated and illustrating that total cost will keep increasing with every product that I scan through there. So once all my products are scanned, then my total cost will be finalized. It's then time to pay. Okay, and so I've got to select a payment method, whether card or cash, and the process associated with that will be the processing of the transaction there. Once the transaction is processed, we then will generate a record of the transaction and the output of the system will be a transaction receipt. And that kind of is the finalized output of this system, which goes to the customer as their proof of purchase, recording the date, the time and what products they purchased at what price, okay, for them to keep and for them to refer to if there are any issues in future. So I hope this video has given you an understanding of IPO diagrams and how they're beneficial in helping us plan the input processes and outputs related to a specific system. And hopefully you can understand how this relates to a checkout system you've used before. They're as detailed as you want them to be. The more information you put into it, the more they'll help you with developing your own systems.